To slightly tweak a quote by Colonel Jeff Cooper, carrying a handgun doesn't make you any more armed than having a guitar makes you a musician. Hi friends, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's lesson comes to us from Oakland, California. LuckyGunner.com is my go-to resource for in-stock, fast shipping ammunition. Whether you're looking for rifle ammo, handgun ammo, rimfire ammo, or shotgun ammo, go to LuckyGunner.com for the best place on the internet to find it all in stock and ready to ship. They have stood by us all in this ammo pandemic, given us great education via their YouTube channel and their ballistic testing as well. Go and check them out and find great ammo ready to ship at good prices. This camera at the front of the restaurant, you're gonna see our perp's car come in here and kind of just stop in front of their restaurant, look through and kind of hit, sit there for a while and decide, yep, that's who we wanna rob. Now the owner and a couple of his friends are sitting around the back, chilling kind of on the tailgate, having a smoke. Now watch, the car is pulled up and watch these three guys get out and you'll see two of them here in just a second with guns. Now, the guy that's to the far right, notice he start, thinks about starting to draw his own pistol, but one of the perps sticks a gun in his face and is going to draw it instead. The guy takes his hand off it. So they have stolen his gun. Now the other perp's gonna come over and grab a very expensive chain from around his neck. Said it was valued at about $10,000 and got a couple of phones and our perps are going to run off. We're gonna think about lessons from this armed person who couldn't help himself. Listen, this channel is all about paying attention to your world so that you know what to do in the moment. But getting that gun out of the holster quickly and protecting it from gun grabs, that's for Active Self Protection Extra, our second channel. Hit the link in the description, go over there and subscribe for nine lessons a week to help you there. First of all, of course, this is a transitional space, even if you're parking lots around the back like this, and you must pay attention. And the big thing that I think that the armed person did here is he's got his back turned to where potential challenges can come. And of course, the big challenge with that is he doesn't see that something's out of place. Well, what's out of place? The car that the, the perps are using is sitting there with, you know, out in the middle of traffic and everything. Now that may not be the end of the world, but it's worth paying attention to. So when you're an armed citizen, when you are a self-defender, as an ASP guardian, you must pay attention to your world, see what's going on around you. This is absolutely a transitional space, and if you are a self-defender, you know, you live in the city of Aspgard, you are an ASP guardian, you gotta pay attention in the transitional spaces. You've got to see what's going on, and at least orient yourself where you're not standing with your back to where the potential dangers can come from. Because what you can see here is the perp's car is sitting in a spot that's odd. Now, might somebody jump out of a vehicle that they didn't park adequately or those kind of things? Yeah, maybe, but it's worth paying attention to. And, and when you're in transitional spaces, which is anywhere that bad guys can attack with an element of surprise where they can get away quickly and when there's valuables for them to take, which this clearly is, then you must pay attention. Well, he doesn't do that here. So he's just kind of smoking with his buddies, hanging out, whatever. Again, he's got a gun on his hip, but that doesn't make you armed. You have to see what's coming because if, if you get jumped like he does here, there is not going to be anything that they are going to be able to do to save you. So if he had simply changed positions here with one of these other guys, he might have seen this coming far enough or at the very least not been one of the first victims where he could have potentially gotten his firearm into the fight. However, by not being aware of his surroundings, by not paying attention to his world, he has completely taken himself out of the fight. And that is incredibly important. So you see him here, the guy shows up with a gun, and now our armed citizen turns and looks and like, oh, he's gonna go behind this truck and pull his gun. If there hadn't been a second attacker there, then he might have actually gotten away with that and done pretty well. But remember, about a third of all attacks that we see on the channel involve a second attacker, and every time you add an attacker, you increase the difficulty level by an order of magnitude. So the fact of the matter is, there's a second attacker here. If he tries to draw his gun, he's in big trouble. But his other part of his big trouble here, as you notice, he's picking at his gun, so he's kind of seeing it, and he exposes his gun to the guy, and then our perp actually sees it. I don't know that our perp would have seen it, if he had not picked at it and gone for it. So listen, might have had an opportunity for a counter ambush if he was paying attention to his world and even if he had had the mental discipline not to pick at his carry gun before he was ready to draw it. But he didn't hear and I get it. I mean, a lot of people don't put themselves in these kinds of situations. I think he should be armed, but I think part of being armed then is, is being aware and paying attention. Now he's arguing with the guy here, but listen, 
That guy's got a gun right to your face and you are arguing with him about taking your firearm away from you. I'm actually really surprised he didn't get shot here, quite frankly. This is the kind of place that I see, you know, a, a decent people that they get absolutely murked by guys like this on a fairly regular basis. And so, listen, either comply fully or resist fully. Worked out okay for him here. Thank God these guys weren't killers. They were using the guns as intimidation devices. But he's got no hope here. He's got two guns that are pointed at him. So just give him the stinking gun because there's really nothing else you're going to do in this particular case. And now you've lost your chain and your firearm. So listen, hear me. Just being armed isn't enough. You must train. Yes, you must be good with the handgun, but also you have to actually pay attention to your world so that you can see potential threats as they come and not get jumped like this guy does here. I will say at the very end, I think he does something pretty good here, which is get the heck out of the danger zone. As soon as he sees, man, I can get away from these guys, he opens that door and off he goes to get away from them. I think that was wise. So, Big lesson I want you to learn out of this one. I think it's great that he was carrying a firearm, but that by itself doesn't help you. You must pay attention to your world. No better than to pick at your gun so that the bad guys can see it. Comply fully or resist fully to cover your ASP.